sure, you can always shop around for flooring, but in the end, it all leads back to the one place you probably should have started, the experts at Carpet One. Save yourself the time and the hassle and let Carpet One help you find the right product at the right price, beautifully installed, guaranteed. Come see the one, Carpet One, on the Business Loop in Columbia. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Friday, February the 12th. We are in Black History Month. February is set aside to uh, talk about that. We've got Joan Stack from the State Historical Society with us. Good to have you here, Joan. And you brought along a very special guest. Yes, I have Grace Atkins here from the MU Libraries, and we are both on the committee for Black History Month this yeah. year. Now, a lot will be going on during the entire month of February. That's right. In Columbia and Central Missouri, uh, dedicated to black history. Do you want to talk about some of the events to start with? Yeah, well, let me just say a little bit about uh, a film that's on tonight, February 5th, uh, the film Democrats. And, and what's interesting about uh, the theme this year is it's not just uh, black history or African-American history, but black history around the world. So this is a film about uh, democracy in Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. So a very interesting film by a woman uh, director. It's gonna be at uh, Waters Auditorium in Waters Hall on the MU campus at 6.30. And so it's a really interesting documentary about things that are going on in Africa right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me uh, let Grace talk about a few things about our website, et cetera. Sure. Um, the great thing about this month, uh, we have all kinds of events for anyone, and the theme is Hallowed Grounds. That's the national theme of Black mm -hmm. History Month this year. So we're looking at sites and rights of black memory, and as you said, we're looking nationally, internationally, but also locally, and I think we have some really neat um, local history events. At the very end of the month, we'll have a historic Black Columbia tour about um, Columbia specifically, and then we'll also have a Black History uh, excuse me, Black History of Trivia Night at the libraries. Now you say a, a historic Black History of Columbia. What what will be happening there? We're um, we're looking at all sorts of different sites in Columbia. Um, Joan, do you now some of them do not exist anymore? Well, that's though. right. We're going to have um, a uh, uh, it's actually a graduate student uh, Mary Beth Brown who uh, is working on this for her mm -hmm. in her graduate work, and she is going to kind of lead a bus tour. So the bus will travel all around, and you'll get to see where the Sharp End uh, neighborhood was, where there were other black neighborhoods that no longer exist. There was a huge black neighborhood, for example, where Lucky's Market is now, mm -hmm. uh, and they used to call it Cemetery Hill, because it was right next to the cemetery. And so she'll be pointing those out, of course, the Blind Moon home and some other uh, yeah. important uh, figures here in Columbia. So I think it'll be a really exciting tour. Then you're going to be dealing with something which really uh, is, 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 a, is a dark part of what happened in Columbia when yeah. we had the lynching. That took place when? 1923. 1923. Not even 100 years ago. There was a public black lynching on Stewart Road. That's right. Do, what happened there? Well, one thing to remember is that Providence Road didn't exist. There was a giant uh, bridge over Flat Branch Creek at uh, St what is now Stewart in Providence. And a man who was accused of molesting a young uh, white girl uh, was uh, hauled out and publicly lynched, uh, hung uh, by the bridge there. And um, the thinking is that he was probably innocent and that this may have been a act of kind of local terrorism to intimidate uh, the black community uh, at that time. And because you were telling me the population of the black community at that time in Columbia was about 30 percent. Well, it, it, at the time that the Sharp End District was founded in, in about 1910, it was it, it was over 30 percent. Now, it was going down, and uh, we're in the 20s, we're right in that period where it's actually going down a bit, And but it was larger than it is now. Mm -hmm. So um, so I think it's interesting. You wonder exactly what was going on politically. Now, when time. they conducted this lynching, did anybody, did authorities try to stop? 
Well, you know, there, I'm hoping that they'll be covering all of that in this. Uh, it's going to be kind of a discussion uh, with a number of different people, grad students, uh, local community people. Uh, they'll be talking about that. I mean, you have different accounts from different happened, different right. people. But, um, but yes, it was kind of a something that was not uh, officially sanctioned by the law, but they kind of looked the other way. It's... Mm -hmm. The, the, the person that was hung was not in jail. Was he in jail? You know, I'm not sure about that. I know okay. that or he... Or did they take I him think, from his family? Um, I, I, I'm not sure whether he had he was incarcerated at the time or not. Do you but know? you can go... You, the thing is, if you want to find out more about this, and this is part of history in, in Colombia, that's going to be when? February the... Um, yeah, we're doing... That is the, the... The lecture is Lest We Forget, Lynching at the at the Stuart Road Bridge on February 12th, and that will be in the Wrench Auditorium in Memorial Union okay. at 3 o'clock. So 3 o'clock in the afternoon. The 12th is a Friday, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, the 12th is a Friday. Okay. Then what are some of the other uh, events that are going on? So in addition to history, we're also focusing on um, the arts and music and culture. So we have a fantastic jazz concert at the Missouri Theater um, on Thursday, February 11th okay. at 7 p.m. And that will be amazing. And then we also have other lectures, dialogues focused on the arts. So there is something for everybody. And you're pointing here to Wednesday, oh, February. Poet <laughs> poetry reading. Poetry reading with uh, some of some some black poets here in town. I think that could be pretty pretty yeah. cool. That'll be in Tate Hall, the um, English department here on campus in room 215 at 7 o'clock on February 17th. Yeah. I, I, I love to listen. In fact, uh, Yvonne Matthews and Mabel Grimes, are they, mm -hmm. do they happen to be one um, of them? I'm, I don't see their name on here, but well, I won't say Well, Yvonne Matthews and Dr. <laughs> Mabel Grimes have been on here uh, many times, and they do what I call those sassy black poems, and they are <laughs> so good. They're such, they're such talented ladies with a, a great sense of humor and, and a lot of talent, mm -hmm. right? So there are many things going on throughout our community through the month of February. And uh, the majority of them are open and free to the public, right? Yeah, a few of the uh, things I get at the Missouri Theater will are ticketed, but is there is there a website that people can go to for all of this information? Yes, BlackStudies.Missouri.edu. That's the Black Studies Department's website, and it has the poster on it. Um, all of the events are free and open to the public unless otherwise noted. So okay. definitely check the So probably the, the jazz concert at the Missouri Theater is a paid performance. Oh, well, you go to the website. <laughs> go to the website and find out. The, the address again is? blackstudies.missouri.edu. Okay, that's it. And you're going to be back, uh, Joan, in a couple of weeks, bringing us up to date on some other events that are going that's right. on. All right. Joan Stack and Grace Atkins, pleasure having both of you here. Joan from State Historical Society and Grace from MU Library. Have yourself a nice day. All right. Thank you. Tomorrow, MU Theater and the Missouri River Relief Program will be our topic. Our program directed by Travis McMillan, Reynolds Journalism Institute, audio, Pat Akers, KBIA, our floor director, is Adam Teeter and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mauser. Something you'd like to hear or see, drop me an email. I would love to hear from you. That's pepperp at missouri.edu. Have yourself a nice day. Bye-bye.